Hey, hey, Jonathan Hederley here with your pop culture thoughts. Listen, some people have their deepest thoughts in the shower. Others, they go for a nice run and their head clears up. Me, I have my deepest thoughts on the toilet. So let's talk about The Walking Dead, something that I've been thinking a lot about. The sixth season is about to return on February the 14th, and the first half was an up and down Jekyll and Hyde. It had some of the best episodes ever in the series, but it also had some of the worst. So I've thought about two things The Walking Dead can do in order to improve its season. Number one, stop with the speeches. I mean, seriously, who talks that way? Listen to some of the speechifying and pontificating that happened in the first half of season six. You can hear it. Some of you saw it. They got back here. Half of them. But that truck outside the walls, It'd be inside if it wasn't for me. I used to not want to see the way things are. If we don't fight, we die. I mean, really, what are they doing? Are they like running for a class president or something? So let's talk like real human beings would talk as they're constantly under threat of being eaten by zombies. Now, the second thing The Walking Dead can do is that it could actually kill off some characters that we care about. The first half of the season saw its usual amount of carnage, but it was all about ancillary characters and people I didn't even know their name. Like, look at this lady. Oh, you need to quit smoking. Well, it's nice to get to, oh, you just died. I guess I'm not gonna see you again. Or take this man who wrote a wonderful poignant letter to his wife, which means we know you're gonna die and I don't remember your name or her name. This show re relies on tension and the constant threat that some of your favorite characters are going to meet their end. So Walking Dead, do me a favor and kill off a major character. So catch me next time when I have some more, I don't know, potty thoughts here in the can. Otherwise, this is Jonathan Hederley flushing out. <laughs>